Okay, hey folks, here we are back in the new series of user interface tutorials that I'm building for Unreal Engine 5.5. This should work in other versions, but let me know if you run into problems. I try and highlight where things are different, but what we're targeting is creating a start screen with a animated background of the level, the ability to start the game, run around, and have a main menu. Okay, so if you've been following along, this is the second tutorial. And here's where we where we currently are. If I press play, I have the ability to navigate around, hit tab to get my menu, and play, retry, and quit are my options. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a start level uh, and we're gonna have a start screen for that start level. Uh, I like to do this by creating a second map. This allows me to have one map for gameplay and another map for my start screen so that I can have different geometry in that start screen. A variety of reasons why this might be a good idea. It's the way that I like to work. So I'm going to do that by saying file, save current level as. And I've already navigated here, but whatever template folder you're working in should have a maps folder. It's where I like to save my maps. And I'm gonna call this new version, the third person game map to distinguish from the third person map, which is gonna end up being my starter map. So by doing a save as, it automatically puts me into the third person game map. Right now, this is the one that has all of the functionality. I'm gonna jump back, go to my content drawer, third person maps. I'm going to go back to the third person map, which is going to be my start map versus my game map. And in here, I'm going to set up a menu that pops up when the game starts. So if I go up here, I can open up my level blueprint. And so this is going to be active in this map, but not the other map. So in here, I can right click and say, event, begin, play. When the level loads, I want you to do a thing. That thing is gonna be, we're gonna add the start menu to our screen. Right now we don't have a start menu, we just have our one menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this off and say, create widget. Again, I always like to do this twice, right? Remember from my other videos, create widget because as soon as I click on create widget and no longer says widget on screen for those of you jumping around in videos like I've often done when I'm learning this stuff don't see the create widget if you type in construct none it's hard to find but as soon as I select the widget as the class I want to load it now says create WBP menu widget fantastic so when this level starts we're going to put this widget in here. I'm going to promote this to a variable. I'm going to name this my start screen. And then I'm going to add this. I like to do it down here. Add to viewport. And when I do it down there, it connects both the blue and the white at the same time. So when event begin play happens, I get a menu on screen. It's my start screen and it's been added to my viewport. Let's go ahead and compile this, move this out of the way and hit play. Okay, so the game starts and I get my menu immediately. Can I click these things? Can I click play? I can click retry and then I lose my mouse. So there's some things happening here that we are going to need to fix to work better for a start screen. So let's pull this back in. The first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna look at my BP menu and I'm gonna realize if I go into designer that I probably don't need a retry button when I'm starting out. I'm just really gonna need play and quit. But if we look at how we've coded these things, the play button, when we're usually playing our game, the play button is just turning off the menu. The on clicked quick quit button is actually quitting the game. We're gonna need that. And the retry button is loading a level. 
So we're gonna do things a little bit differently here and we're gonna make some changes. So if I make changes to my WBP widget blueprint menu, it's going to be true for all my levels because it is a asset that is being put into multiple levels. So this retry button, I'm gonna change open level by name to be this third person game map. So if I want to, I can select that. I can hit F2 to rename it, but I'm just gonna hit Control C and hit Escape or click away so that I don't change that name. But because I've copied the name, I can now paste it in here. Or if you want to, you can just type in whatever you've named your level. Third person game map is what was working for me. And so now when I hit the retry button, it's gonna load the third person game map. Let's just try that really quickly. So here we do, we have the map, and when I click retry, it's loading the level that doesn't have the menu pop up at the very start. Okay, that's great. And that is gonna work for both my main menu and my start menu, because I'm gonna make them different. So to do that, I'm gonna go into my content drawer. I'm gonna go to where I made my oops, content drawer. I want this to be a little bit bigger. I'm still getting used to the content drawer versus the content window. Uh, I'm gonna right click that menu and I'm gonna say duplicate. And instead of calling this menu, I'm gonna call it start. So now if I edit this one to be what I want, it's gonna make a lot more sense. So the play button, again, that is really just turning off the menu and we don't wanna do that from the start screen. So I'm actually gonna delete play and the text that goes with it, and then retry. We haven't tried yet, it's a start screen. So I'm gonna change retry to start. So now, if I go into my graph, and you know what? The play button, we deleted. So we're gonna to need to delete this whole Piece because if I try and compile it, it's gonna show up with a warning. Let's delete that. Our retry button, oh, we shouldn't leave that called the retry button. We should change the name of that to the start button. So that when I go back to the graph, start button. So start button is gonna open the level that actually has the game and the quit button is still gonna quit. Okay, if I go back to the designer, that looks like it's gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead and move this off to the side and I'm gonna try pressing play and it's loading the wrong menu. So on our level blueprint, when we load this widget, we no longer want to load WBP menu. We want to load the start widget. That's gonna break this set because that variable was specific to my other class. So I'm gonna delete that, and I'm gonna promote this one to a variable. There we go, and my old start screen variable is no longer active. I'm gonna delete it, but this new variable, now this is gonna be my start screen. I plug that in here, I plug that in here, I hit compile, I move this out of the way, I press play, and now I'm getting my start or quit. Great, so what happens if I click start? Everything looks like it's functioning properly. And now I can hit tab, and I still have my play button, which still works exactly as it should. I still have my retry button that reloads this level, and I still have my quit button that functions. The only other thing for me to test, if I hit play, is that quit button on the start menu and it still works perfectly. Okay, so now I have a start menu and I have a main menu that I can call. I'm gonna pause this video here and I'm gonna come back with the next video which is gonna be how to get a separate camera set up to revolve on the start screen. Thanks for joining, I hope you'll join for the next video as well.